Hey guys, it's Apple Tech here. Today I'm going to do a review of the NASA Spacecraft 3D app for iOS. All you need is an iOS device, iPod Touch, iPad, and iPhone, and the camera that works with it. So let's get started. First, you want to get the marker. You can either print it or email it directly. If you want to print it directly, just have an AirPlay printer, which I don't, so I'm just going to print it. Um, I mean, email it, and now I'll print it here. This is what it comes up as. Um, what you're going to see is on the top is the actual um, AR reader um, that you want to cut out and then place on the surface so you can use it. Um, some directions. Left is a little smaller, minier one. And also on the bottom right is a um, poster. So now it's printing. Nice printer. Um, and here it is. The reason mine has this lines to kind of phase comes by printers, I guess, acted up for some reason, but it still works fine. Um, it just says, AR target for spacecraft 3D NASA, JPL. After you get that, um, you want to select your spacecraft. I'll do Curiosity first. Once it loads, there we go. Um, this works for portrait or landscape. I'll use landscape. just says, please place the marker on the table and in the center of the screen, on the table, I just use my laptop, which is fine. Uh, give it a couple seconds to work, and there it is. So here's the a AR model of the um, Curiosity. For in the settings, you can scale it up and down. Right now, I'm gonna have it on the small size. Uh, you can flip it 180 degrees so it can see the other way. Also, there's a couple um, animations built in for Curiosity. You can have the mask or the head come up. Also, what you can also do is for the robotic arm that you can extend that. Oops. And also, you can have a little high-grade um, antenna pop up, which is neat. Uh, finally, for animations, you can have it turn 90 degrees one way, and hit 90 degrees again, and it turns back to um, the way it found. Also, in settings, you can take a photo of this. You just hit the photo button, and it asks you if you want to if you can get to your camera library, and then it saves. Uh, for the information, it just tells you some things about the spacecraft and some information about that. Uh, next, I'll do is the moon, the new moon satellite. This one I noticed when you're trying to focus, it's a little more trickier, but I got it this time really good. Um, and with this one, you can turn 360 degrees with it, um, as long as you make sure the AR card is still um, in focus of the camera. Unfortunately, you can only turn it 180 degrees. There is not any um, animations. And that's really it. I did hear from NASA they are making, uh, they're going to put some new spacecraft and satellites in the future. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.